This makeshift library under a bridge in Angola's capital, Luanda, has become a spot where young Angolans debate the country's future and lament its many failures. Many of these young people will be heading to the polls for the first time this Wednesday. Two years ago, Francisco Mapanda and Arante Kivuvu were jobless during the global health crisis. So they started selling whiskey and cigarettes here. To ease boredom, they read books. And when they realized others also wanted to read, they got more. Unemployment's a problem in general, but the way it affects marginalized communities is different compared to other places. This place has become an alternative to fill the void of what exists because there are no places where young people can have fun, where they can go for entertainment or information. Despite nearly five decades in power and billions of dollars worth of oil pumped, the MPLA-led government has failed to lift Angola's overwhelmingly young populace out of poverty. Under 25s make up 60% of the population, and more than half are unemployed. A rebel group turned opposition party led by Alberto Costa Jr. is hoping to capitalize on these frustrations. It is promising more jobs and better education than has been provided by the party that has governed Angola since it won independence from Portugal in 1975. The country emerged from a 27-year civil war between the MPLA and UNITA in 2002. But much of its youth barely remember this history and worry more about economic ills. 22-year-old Francesco Seunga makes ends meet with petty trade. Here, a lot of people are unemployed. A democratic state that works for the people has to look at the unemployment situation for the young because we, young people, need jobs so we don't end up wandering around. Analysts say that youth frustrations could quickly boil over if the MPLA wins an election seen as fraudulent as they have in the past polls, something the Electoral Commission has promised won't happen.